Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all TZ Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss how to count intercostal spaces on chest X ray. At first, what is intercostal space? It is the space between two adjacent ribs. This is two adjacent ribs, the lower border of upper rib and upper border of lower rib. These are the anterior rib and posterior boundary of intercostal space. There is also anterior boundary and posterior boundary of the intercostal space. The anterior boundary is the lateral surface of the sternum, posterior boundary the lateral surface of the body of the thoracic vertebra. Number 11 pair, 3rd to 6th are typical and rest of the intercostal space are atypical due to difference in blood supply and nerve supply pattern. So red are typical intercostal space and rest of the atypical intercostal space. The content of the intercostal space, intercostal muscle, external intercostal, internal intercostal and innermost intercostal. The neurovascular bundle present within the muscles, there is a two anterior intercostal vessels and one intercostal posterior intercostal vessel anterior intercostal artery is the branch of internal thoracic artery which is the branch of the thoracic artery the posterior intercostal artery is the mainly branch of descending thoracic aorta there is also the intercostal nerve which is the branch of ventral rami of upper 11 thoracic spinal nerve the length of the intercostal space a single intercostal space has wide from anterior to posterior and there is a vertical lens. Vertical lens is different in different part of the same intercostal space. In front it is uh, narrow uh, than the rest of the part of the intercostal space. You see here the particle diameter is less but here particle diameter little bit longer. The wide of the intercostal space is related to the length of the rib. You see the first rib is the shortest, broadest and gradually the size of the ribs is increased. Then again its size is decreased. So the longest rib of the body is the 7 rib, 9.5 inch length and second largest is the 8 rib 9.1 inch in length. The upper intercostal space, the first space is usually the narrowest and widening gradually toward the sixth intercostal space. The middle intercostal space is wider than the upper space and lower intercostal space is narrower again, particularly toward the front. This is the first intercostal space, second to sixth intercostal space gradually widen, seven to nine intercostal space appears widest in the middle of the chest x-ray and the ten and eleven intercostal space are narrower compared to those formed by the upper rib. The 11 and 12 ribs is known as the frotting rib because they do not attach directly to the sternum like upper ribs. Instead, they do a free frotting end only connect to the vertebra. Due to this anatomical arrangement, the intercostal space formed by the frotting rib is narrower compared to those formed by the upper ribs. So, the wide of this intercostal space is less than the upper intercostal space but the vertical diameter of the 10 and 11 intercostal spice um, mainly the posterior part of the intercostal spice is much longer than the rest of the intercostal space because here the body size of the lower thoracic vertebra is longer than the upper thoracic vertebra.
This is the first intercostal space, narrowest intercostal space, second intercostal space, third intercostal space, fourth intercostal space, fifth intercostal space, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is the first rib. This is the costal transverse joint. Costal vertebral joint is not seen in this picture. So this is the narrowest first intercostal space. This is the second intercostal space. So this is the first intercostal space in posterior anterior chest X-ray. This is the second intercostal space. Third, fourth. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. The vertical length of the posterior part of the intercostal space is related with the vertical length of the body of the thoracic vertebra. The upper thoracic vertebra vertebral length is less than the lower thoracic vertebra. So distance between two adjacent costal vertebral joint in the upper thoracic vertebra, the vertical length is less, but in the lower part, it, the vertical length is longer because the body of the lower thoracic vertebra is longer. So you can in chest X-ray, you can easily uh, identify 10th and 11th intercostal space by wide gap between lower thoracic rib. So this is all about how you identify intercostal space in the chest essay. If you like this video, please press the like button. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.